everybody. So, this is the much-requested Vermintide Trinkets vi uh, video. We'll be going over all of the trinkets and how useful or useless they might be. And with me, again... Is Lunthex. Yes. Uh, this one took a little bit of... <laughs> yeah, weapon videos were a lot more effort than putting this one together, but uh, this one was still <laughs> annoying in its own way. So there's two offensive trinkets that directly, like, kill stuff better. So we've got the Poison Flask. Now you might think at 2%, 4%, and 6% of applying the Hagvein Poison damage over time it is bad, but on certain weapons it's fantastic. And I have heard talk of, uh, like, if you use this on a shield weapon and, like, the hammer, which has a rougher time, or the, the hammer and mace, which has a rougher time of killing Storm Vermin, it just helps go a little bit faster. Disagree. I feel like the, anything else would be better in, as a controller. Well, it, the, the biggest thing to note is that is that this apply uh, this gives a chance to apply the damage on any damaging hit. So something like a Spyhonder, which already which already hits like six dudes at a time. Yeah, the two-handed hammer yeah. too. The two-handed hammer, which hits everything, that's a six percent chance at best to apply a pretty. This is on. This is all Cataclysm health values here. The Hagbane benefits from it because it just hits everything in, around it. Sienna definitely Sienna benefits definitely the most. Gets the most mileage out of this. Uh, that watch the left side of the. Just watch the storm vermin kill count. I mean, that's that's just gonna tell you everything you need to know. Mm-hmm. It's absolutely gorgeous. Uh, fireball being OP. I mean, this doesn't come as a surprise. Uh, it does. It doesn't. But it does. It might come as a little bit of a surprise that the most OP thing also benefits from uh, from this trinket specifically quite a lot more. It's beautiful. Twenty four storm vermin. So we're moving on to this one. Now you see the grenade mm. radius. Ain't, you know, it, it covers a room. You know, any any pretty much every room in the game. This is good enough. And I yeah I'm a bit I'm a big fan of this of this one for hard and below even on nightmare it's perfectly fine. Bring this, no, no. Uh, this thing to cataclysm, however, and holy crap, you will kill your team and they will find you and destroy you. With at sixty percent, this this cover you can hit shit through walls and up up on second levels entirely because of the way this game works. Mm -hmm. It makes throwing bombs a lot more fun, but holy shit, do not drink do not ever drink a strength potion with a frag bomb ever again because as stated, yeah. uh. <laughs> you will yeah, you will that's... kill your teammates instantly. So there's uh without that's without <laughs> the radius you can kill eight. Just pretend this is a patrol. So it eight rats with a throw suddenly went up to twelve plus the one. Yikes! Chicken. Yeah, it, it's not bad, but uh, don't use don't use this in preparation to your team. <laughs> ah yes. So now we're get we're getting into the numerous defensive trinkets that we have in the game. Yes, they are all very good except for the packmaster one because he d the the threat of the packmaster is like when sh when other things are hitting you as he's dragging you. Mhm. Mm right. The the gutter runner the gutter runner trinket is also somewhat similar in that way. Well, uh, this guy does a lot of damage no matter what, and I hate it. Yeah, and he he's all he also ten uh, tends to be a huge dick about about grabbing you so the the globe of deer trinket is definitely the one uh, the one that i i prefer most sim uh, simply because uh, because globe of deers can i uh, can throw so quickly and do so much damage i wasn't at, really at noticing a decrease on the pack master on nightmare the rattling gunner big boost yeah yeah, the Rattling gun uh, Gunner becomes much less dangerous. Gutter Runner also extremely helpful. Yeah, you should hope that uh, that you don't get you don't get nailed by the Gutter Runner too often though. But this is the big one. You see, I took half health damage from the full effect, but now I've only taken two bars worth on Nightmare. So right. here we are in Cataclysm. Packmasters, you have 100 health versus 150 on Cataclysm. So you have less health and they do more damage. Packmaster, eh, that was sped up. Rattling Gunner, he will he will demolish your ass. He, yeah, rat, Rattling Because they got can, buffed in this patch. Yes, they're much more accurate this patch than they used to be. The Globadier, <laughs> yeah. Oh lord. That, that it, hurts. It's your entire health bar. Yep, yep, that's a problem. And then the gutter runner, like holy shit, do not. Yeah, no, don't get, don't get. Do not want. Do, don't get jumped on cataclysm. So with the trinket, packmaster is again neutered, but it, it feels more effective here somehow because of the less health. The rattling and gunner, yeah. And not just not just that, because there aren't a thousand rats around. The gutter runner, oh, extremely helpful, but 
a quick react a quick and reactive team will save you from that. But this one, this is the this is the prize here. The Globadir Definitely. one is so helpful. It it allows it allows you to ignore the area denial effect of uh, of the Globadir, which is one of his most dangerous assets. So you see, when you're knocked down, I think you roughly have I think you have the same amount of HP you did before. Maybe take a little bit more damage. So you have a trinket that increases the amount of HP you have when you're down, and uh, uh, useless. <laughs> That's all yeah, I'm gonna say. No, I, I honestly cannot figure why you would waste a trinket slot. Honest, if you could equip more. Well, uh, if you're playing with the elf and then let her get hit a lot because that makes you happy. Uh, okay, you know, I mean, I, I'm I'm not going. I'm not gonna push um, push my own moral agenda here, though. <laughs> <laughs> On cataclysm difficulty, that's without the trinket. And then with the trinket, you'll notice that... Oh, you see four rats were hitting her with the trinket on Nightmare. That was something else, too. Mm -hmm. But she's still, you know, in Cataclysm. You die so fast. Don't go you down. Do. And then there's a trinket that invalidates this one. Oh, here's a bug. <laughs> that one's always beautiful. I believe we're about to show off... A certain trinket that is incredibly useless. Oh, yeah. Because they grandfathered the block revive bug in. And you know, even if they didn't, this trinket is total garbage because that involves taking damage. Right. It invalidates the, it instantly. And this the, is even the, better. <laughs> Take yeah. no interruption when healing. Seriously? Again, Why would you, you ever can use block this? While doing this? Well, not healing, but just clear everything out first before you heal. Like, what's going on here? You know what I mean? Yeah. So you can see uh, it takes about two seconds to revive somebody. But there is a trinket that will reduce this time spent. <laughs> Stop falling down, indeed. The bone oh saw is great. Uh, is if you expect people to go down, you can pick them up in a second. It can it can still be useful, but again, because you can block while uh, while reviving, it's not that big. But a deal. if there's potentially a globadier bomb on them, and you have the gas rat trinket and the bone saw, you run in and save them. Precisely. You know, I, I, I do I do agree. It can be help. Uh, it can be helpful, but when you can only equip three different uh, different trinkets, it's low priority. All trinkets are a luxury. Uh, this one is in this one healing you for healing someone else with a med kit is invalidated. Well, I mean, I hope you appreciate that because because of this next one. This everybody wears this trinket. Yeah, for the the big the biggest thing a thing to remember about this group treat uh, treatment is that when you share when you share a little bit of health by drink by drinking something, everybody around you it also brings them out of the white. what yes, and they yes. would have died. But uh -huh. the percentage heal doesn't matter. It just matters that they're yep, not. That's pretty die. much it. You can uh, you lose so much uh, so much health to bleed out damage under normal circumstances and on. Uh, Cataclysm and Nightmare. It's one. Uh, if you go down when you're white, you're just you're simply dead. Proxy, proxy is great. Um, only was I do not care for speed potions. I think they are crap, and I think they are t total garbage. That nobody should ever use it, and that they have never been used well or with any amount of like benefit in the history of this game. But strength potions being shared. They're better than nothing. <laughs> strength potions being shared helps the whole group do a good amount of damage. Yeah, the the po uh, the potion share uh, share is basically the anti Roger, and that is absolutely fantastic. This is a game changing trinket. It is. So every player on Nightmare and Below has 150 health. And when more than one person wears it, their health value is combined, and they share it. But that also means you share defeat if everybody's wearing it. Mm-hmm. This, if everybody's got, like, regrowth weapons and is great at not taking damage, you can survive a Storm Vermin Cleave, because that's designed to instant kill someone. But with a shared health pool, uh, somebody can survive one, maybe two. Healing is also, you know, the effectiveness is reduced with that. It, it's reduced, yeah. It's reduced commiser uh, commiserately. That that said, usually the way that I end up using these is I will choose one uh, one of one of my uh, my allies to do a Soviet star with, and uh, and that that ally is always the one that I can trust not to take damage. This is this is an always useful trinket. I mean, mm -hmm. just outright duping any item you touch. And then there's also trinkets that 
have a chance to not consume the item when you use them. Healing is okay. I, I'm a big fan of this one. The potion one. These obviously mesh with like the uh, uh, heal share, potion share, grenade radius, because you can do grenades. However, you know, if it doesn't do, that trinket is suddenly worthless. Yes, it, yes indeed. I'll, I, I, re I really enjoy... I really enjoy the uh, healing one, however, simply because health is such a massive thing in this game. Also, I, I, I'd say you're, us you're using speed potions correctly here. <laughs> I don't like this. <laughs> I like it. The uh, speed potion stack and strength potions do not. And you can see bombs do... But I, if you have to throw a bomb, it's going to save you no matter what. I don't really see the need for having more than one, because all the teams should have one. And then they can throw a bomb in any panic situation, and I just I just don't see any situation escalating to the need of, like, requiring the, that. The, enti the entire issue with all of the, the, the percent-to-chance tr uh, trinkets is precisely that. They have a percent-to-chance yeah. to work. It's nice! If, if, if they were changed around so the first consumption did not, ac did not actually consume it, that would be a completely different story. When you hold a grimoire, which gives you a guaranteed loot roll at the end of a game, you lose 33% of your health, and then you lose up to 66% of your health. The Curse Ward, the Lich Ward, Lichbone Pendant, reduces that by 33%, so you get to keep 6.5 of your health bars out of 11. That's not bad. That's not it's bad very, at all. It's very nice if you're, uh, if, you're looking, if you're looking for loot, which, let's be honest, most people are when they go out playing this game. Okay, uh, I have a lot to say about this trinket. I probably don't have time. Oh, yeah. Five seconds. Okay, so I'm wearing an orange move speed trinket, which increases your speed purportedly by 6%. Uh, that was that was 250 milliseconds saved, or 15 frames of animation. Yes. This is the most worthless fucking trinket in the game. This trinket <laughs> is garbage. It is the difference of a fraction of a single second. Because 2% is actually 1.02%. It's all 4.04. If the, if the percentage was correct, it would be 4.08, 16, and 24, which would be noticeable increases on your move speed. The I choose to believe that, the, uh, that these things are bugged, but the, pro the problem with, uh, with it inherently is that you still can't outrun rats. The, and you never well, will, yeah. because... Oh, I like that. That made me happy. There is there is a trinket that reduces the time from 30 seconds of respawning, which is only good in Last Stand, because yeah. you can afford to wait in any other map. The yes, between uh, between between specific um, specific challenges in most maps, 30 seconds is not that long uh, that long to wait. In Last Stand, however, it can be the difference between victory and defeat. You're gonna be dying a lot if you're new. Well, I mean, I, I try. And, I try not yeah, to die. I'm not but... done with the move speed trinket because movement speed is its own thing. Uh, dodging, walking, crouching, all different speeds. Jumping isn't affected. You know, it, it it's it's completely worthless, and the stat is a lie. That's all I have to say on it. It is indeed. So is we have indeed. the final trinket here. It is the luck increase trinket. So you see this chest? There were two items there, but there's a loot dice in this one. So. Every chest, when you open it, has a 5% chance to contain a three-sided dice that goes towards the uh, the loot roll at the end of the level. And you can only have two of these. Uh, they can drop from sack rats, which are a random event. So, uh, the, it basically increases to 10% if you have the orange. The effect only applies to the person who opens the chest with the trinket. It does nothing else. It, this is its only use, is to get these dice. So if a sack rat appears and drops it, your trinket is suddenly invalidated. It's it all. Uh, it is worth noting that uh, that cursed uh, that cursed loot dice also really don't help you that much on at the end of the area. So only use that crap if you have nothing else to put in your trinkets. Yes, it's three versus two, or you're playing maps with no reward.